crap beer show, part of the crap network. And uh, you know, you guys wanted a change of scenery, and you got it. We're Nub's Garage. That's right. That's right. Switching it up. We, 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 uh, we bring it to you. When, when you ask, we uh, deliver. We deliver. And, that, and we're delivering with Nub's Garage. That's right. And our very first pumpkin ale of the season. That's right. Uh, fall seasonals are coming into the, the brewery. And, um, hey, right now. Hey, love man. Who's that ugly penis between us? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Might have something to do with uh, Smutty Nose Brewery, or yeah, I think we're talking about Smutty Nose <laughs> Breweries. That's right. This is the uh, Pumpkin Ale by Smutty Nose Brewery. Never heard of that one before. And when you when you hear Smutty Nose, you're gonna you think that it might be like repulsive to, to the the scent of it or something, the aroma. But uh, the aroma's good. It's got a good smell. Nice pumpkin, pumpkin smell, man. Yeah. This smells like a good uh, mm. a good you know like. Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie, maybe if you light up a candle, pumpkin flavored. You know? Yeah, yeah. So it's true. Mm -hmm. Well, we already did the pour, so we'll just explain it to you. I poured out kind of a cloudy, light color, and uh, once it hit the glass, lots of carbonation and tons of head. We don't know if it was because of the glasses that we got from Nubs or not, but fast forwarding along, we're uh, smelling it all. No respect at all. <laughs> when they come to my house, I get no respect. It's just rude. He did give me yeah. a reach around. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, he did yeah, give you that reach around. Yeah, that's, that's considered good. respect. Yeah, I appreciate that. Come really, on. Yeah. yeah. Right. You, used some, you used some lube or something, right? It wasn't just dry. Fuck that, man. Let's go on dry bone. <laughs> All right, we're back. <laughs> Anyways. All right. Anyway, uh, call me later. Uh, the, yeah, the smell from the glass. 253022. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you can call that one. 513. <laughs> Two five three zero two two one. The screen's at the bottom. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean the number is all on the screen <laughs> Come on, man. He means the uh, the number is going to be displayed at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> That's our hotline that no one ever calls because no one actually watches the show. Since we're the complete waste of your guys' time, so yeah. just I mean, if you don't even want to call and talk about games or you don't want to call and talk about you know any beer or cigars just call and talk about reach arounds justin's into yeah that. i mean take your shirt yeah. off and give him a phone call i got like 50 different positions i can talk about he's gonna pull out the kama sutra, sutra. come yeah. on dude you don't have 69 oh it's in there all right that's like page one man all right you gotta get through 69 first before you get to the other shit. the flying monkey yeah it's a popular one mm -hmm. anyway Okay, back to the review here. Yeah. Uh, this is a pumpkin ale, and uh, like we said, it's had a very strong pumpkin smell in the, in the bottle, and we still smell in the glass, but it's not as powerful, but you know, it's there. Mm. But you guys want to just go ahead and drink it up now since we're getting the pour? No. <laughs> Let's see what it tastes like. Come on, man. All right. Cheers, man. Cheers. Cheers to crabby beer. <laughs> <laughs> Very hoppy. Yeah. Yeah, that hops, man. It's, whew. There's no, there's no pumpkin taste to it. It's yeah, I don't taste the pumpkin. Diluted. It's, it's pumpkin. been, it's been uh, conquered by the hops. It just overpowers it. Yeah. I don't. I'm actually pretty disappointed in this. Um, mm -hmm. The smell was really making me just want to drink the thing, and the fact that it's a pumpkin ale. I've been waiting for a pumpkin ale all year long. You know, it's a seasonal that comes out in the fall time. And I was happy that I was starting to see them. And once I bought it for eight ninety nine a six pack, uh, drinking this just—I mean, it, it's—it's not bad for a hoppy beer. Just like, but there's nothing special about it. That's kicking out. I'll tell you what, you like hops? Pick this up. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And if you're into, if you're into the uh, yeah, but I think I think if you like hops, go for an IPA. If if they're well, I mean, specifically it does have... trying to. Make a pumpkin ale. Okay, but it does have a little bit of pumpkin flavor to it. Maybe a fraction. Well, just a little bit. So let's say there's hypothetically the person out there that likes pumpkin ales, but at the same time they enjoy hops. This would be a good beer for you. Possibly, I think. Yeah. If especially Maybe if you pumpkins too if, yeah, or something. If you like the hops more than you like the pumpkin flavor, this would be a good. Yeah, one. I guess mm -hmm. you could look at it like that. We've got to look at it optimistically. Yeah. You know? 
for me, my review, my status, I'm going to go for drinkable in this. I'm going to go barely, barely drinkable. I don't appreciate it at all. Barely drinkable. Wow. Damn. Damn. <laughs> I'm not into hops. You know the more line that we had. Uh, what was it called? More line what? Do you remember? No, I don't know. Okay, the more line that we just reviewed. We just, just reviewed it. Yeah, just look at the previous review. That one had hops to it. It was a like a, a October flavor, Oktoberfest type beer. But uh, the problem was that you know I wasn't anticipating the hops we drank it and the hops wasn't too overpowering so it was a good blend even though I don't like hops that much this this is major hops and not so much on the pumpkin end at all mm -hmm. so it's, it's really disappointing but there again I like lagers so yeah me myself you know you probably uh, seen my the uh, the past reviews I'm a hop head I love hops yeah so me too and I was looking forward to a pumpkin, a pumpkin taste, you know, pumpkin ale, seasons out. Yeah, you're a hop head, but, you know, for this particular brew, you weren't looking for hops. You were no, looking for that pumpkin. I was looking for pumpkin. Yeah, same and, here. I, you know, there's plenty of beers out there to get the hops. I mean, if this said, uh, you know, hopkin ale or something, then maybe I would know that it's, you know, more of a hop than a, than a pumpkin. It doesn't even have an IBU rating on it. No, you can't even find the IBU online. The only thing you find is ABV, and it's like 5.6, so... I'm, I'm going drinkable with long answers, man. You know what, though? One thing to say, this is a perfect reason for this site. Yeah. Because we went out and purchased this, and then, you know, we're, we're under the anticipation, we have the anticipation and the idea that, hey, this, you know, this could be a really good uh, October seasonal brew, but then we try it and say it's hops. I mean, you review this, and then you get, you, the viewers get to see it, and then mm -hmm. you can, you know, you can judge this. And say, hey, well, these guys, you know, pretty much trust their opinion. I'm not going to go with this crap. No. Yeah. So, I mean, that's the whole point of the site. But I, right, right. I mean, I can't wait to te uh, you know, taste test the other pumpkin. Oh, for there. sure. Yeah. 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 There's going to be plenty this season, and we're going to try to hit a lot of them. So, you know, maybe even if there's other ones out there by the time you see this one that you want to send it to us from your local area, mm -hmm. uh, let us know. You know, uh, flip us a gift card, man. We'll be down with yes. that. <laughs> Whatever. Give us some money and, uh, you know, we might buy some beer with it or some, you know, strip club or whatever we do. Yeah. But we'll, we'll be Bob happy usually, we would nonetheless, be, and we'll keep reviewing stuff. Yeah, we usually get Bob to strip for a six pack, so. Yeah. Who's Bob? No, it's, come on. I don't know, it's your secret lover, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde <laughs> thing or something. All right. So there you have it. Uh, Smutty Nose Brewing Company, 5.8% uh, <laughs> uh, ABV, supposed to be a pumpkin ale, turned out to be a hop ale instead, and uh, no really pumpkin taste too much, it was very faint, with a really good smell of it, but just not there for taste wise. So. I will say this, I was drinking a classic Coca-Cola before I had this, and actually I'm going to go pick that up and probably let this sit, so. As opposed to a new Coca-Cola? Yeah, you can go for the classic, baby. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Right. There you have it. Uh, this is Long Ashes, Ashtray, and Nubs. We're going to continue to search for the Holy Grail of Ale. Bye. See ya. Leave. Fuck out of here.